This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. I don't care. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And let me tell you something. So we're uh, if you're with us live, we're about 20 minutes late, and I don't know what's going on over here uh, with some stuff. So so there's some new hardware. I want to talk about some new hardware, but I don't think this is the new hardware we had a problem with today. Something happened 
something happened with vmix i don't know what the heck the deal is uh, uh the feed wasn't going out something happened you know these websites screw up every once in a while and 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 i keep thinking to myself because i was watching live in studio stuff with uh this week in tech you know something i've watched for years and then i'm like well, these guys don't have these kinds of problems then i realize Yes, because they have a million dollar studio, and I maybe have a ten thousand dollar studio. Uh, so it, it's it's just the redundancies aren't there. Plus, we're playing with some new hardware that we're going to talk about here in a little bit, and it looks like, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm noticing issues right off the bat here as we go here. Um, but anyways, welcome to the awesome guys. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and we are here to talk about some things, um, and uh, we are going to. I don't know what we're going to do with this thing. Um, but anyways, uh, let's get into it. First of all, we have a bunch of people. Is the feed from Zoom out of sync? No, I think my CPU is getting taxed because of the way I had to do this since Vimeo was down. So we may just be cutting. Uh, we may just so you're, be... No, your audio your audio is ahead. Of my audio is ahead. Video. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to... Uh, I, I'm going to have to apologize to Twitch and YouTube. We're going to take that out and go just to... Our friends over on Facebook, and I think things are, things are going to already look a little bit better. Um, but anyways, um, don't, don't worry about the sync. There's, there's there's new stuff, Chiller. We're working out the bugs on some new <laughs> hardware, okay? Um, and you're, you're running on the beta. You're running on the beta hardware. I'm running on the beta hardware. The recording looks great, but it's not going to have all the graphics, so I don't know what we're going to do with that. Um, but anyways, though, because we did a version of this last night, I wasn't happy with the results. We set this up. I spent I don't know how many hours today figuring out a whole new workflow, and now I'm noticing issues with this workflow. So I, I and but again, this is where we this is the test bed. This is where we try new things and, and we have for years and, and and we present it and find out what things work and don't work. Um, but it should be it should be fine for everybody out there uh, for the most part, I guess we'll see. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll 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 go with this. We'll go with this. So um, but anyways, you know, but you know what we do here at Sidekick Music? We make the shit work. That that one way or another, we make the stuff work. So I mean, we, hopefully, I got an hour to figure out what went wrong here, so we can get the work just fine for the Wrestling Mayhem show. So it'll be fine. It'll be great. Anyways, we do have a crew. You heard the one voice over there. First of all, with us at Studio C in the Big D Dormont, PA, is a gadget guru, a Big Bank International Esquire. He is John Chichilla. How's it going? All right. I think we just talked about how's it going. So <laughs> I think I think I think it's going well. I think you we're, look we're great. Like you're sync. You don't look out of sync and stuff. It look, I, I just feel like my like I am. Like you look great. I don't know what's happening through this. I I think you know. Like I've got. Let me see if you can see it from this camera. Oh, you got so, that you too? Can see. Okay. so so I actually hooked up a third monitor. <gasps> Um, I'm also doing the thing three that bums me now. out is that it's it's an actual it's an actual touch screen, mm -hmm. but unfortunately in Mac OS the touch it, screen doesn't ah, come over, but ah, it works on Windows. So man, oh, we're, it's, it's, we're all adding screens I'm around here, happy. aren't we? Also back with us this week after a week excursion, uh, the Dutters, our social media maven over there and former zombie wrangler. How you doing, Katie? Good. I only have one screen. You. <laughs> Yes. Wait, can I like laugh? Look, this is my one screen. Can you see my laptop? <laughs> <laughs> Technically a two screen there. You do have the, that, oh, that, yeah, that phone true. going on. So absolutely. Hopefully not for long. Let's talk about this mm, later. We'll get into mm. that. So, mm. and also <laughs> because today was all about how fantastic and inspirational California is, which I think is ironic since it's on the same day as a recall election, and we're not going to get into that on this show. But with us from somewhere in Southern California, he moved, so I don't even know exactly where right now, uh, Alex Cars of OccupyProWrestling.com has joined us. Hi, Sorg. So um, first of all, in case you're wondering where I'm at, I am currently uh, in a one of the offices that I rented out here at Apple headquarters. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, right uh, on the spaceship, yeah. huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, and you can t and you can tell that I'm actually in the room and not in front of a green screen because I am wearing a green shirt. And <laughs> there you go. Is that, is that what that. the proof is? That's the proof of the pudding. Um, oh also, oh my. Also, um, I'll, I'll I'll save what it actually is, but d despite what I said earlier, I do have an awesome thing for this week. Okay. And I'll share that when we get to it. But I'm just want to say that I'm happy to be here and happy to chat about Apple and other things tech this week. 
Fantastic. Glad you could join us. And of course, uh, you can check. Oh, geez, where's my document over here? Um, so <laughs> the workflow. I'm still working on this workflow. Um, I want to reach here, but the thing's over here now. So. But we'll get to that in a second. Anyways, you guys, check out everything at AwesomeCast.com. You can uh, email us at AwesomeCast.com for any questions or inquiries. Tweet us at AwesomeCast, Facebook, AwesomeCast, and, of course, the AwesomeCast Facebook group where a lot of great discussions happening throughout the week. You can subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on Facebook and YouTube or subscribe to the Sorgatron Media Master Feed where you can find this and all the rest of the great podcasts. But by the way, audio is great. The audio is going to be solid out of this show. Video is currently questionable, and, and, and it's driving me insane. Uh, so, but, so uh, walk with me through my madness. And okay, we are live, and you can see how that video is going. And see if I figure it out next week uh, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time on the Awesome Cast Facebook Live, which is the only place we're going right now because I don't know what's happening with the other streaming providers tonight. I think I don't know. Maybe we have some down time or something going on out there that I'm unaware of. Maybe some servers outage or something. Anyways. Also, thank you for supporting us at Patreon.com/slash rest. Mm. Awesome cast. Patreon.com slash awesome cast. Sorry, Alex is here, so I'm really confused. Um, our friends at the Coffee Club Lover giving a shout out to Matt Weller, John DeGore, John Carmen, Cynthia Klosky of Shift Collaborative, Scott McTaggart of Pitchworks Podcast, and Mike Pound. And at the fan of the show level, Michael Fedor, Professor Buzzkill, and Dave Podner of the iPhoneography Podcast. Please support the show at patreon.com slash awesome cast. Uh, so let's get into our awesome listen. We're going we're gonna to hold it off because I know when we get started, we're all talking about Apple for the rest of the show. You notice I didn't even put anything else in the doc because there's stories from the rest of the week, but you know we're not getting to them today, especially since we ran late getting started. Pum uh, Chilla, do you have a pumpkin time uh, uh, for I, the end I of I unfortunately do have the you typical do. So we have to get everything in before, before pumpkin time in the next uh, uh, 30 minutes. So, so, so let's get into it quick. So it's probably bad because things aren't working, but I have a feeling it's, it's not the, the – re- other than changing the configuration in the studio, I don't think that's the reason that I'm having these problems. But I want to say we are currently in a testing phase with this uh, new piece of hardware to see if we it's reliable enough to deploy and use in the studio and maybe take out to some places. But I did get some new gear. It is... Um, and after and I've been looking at this for a while. Either way, uh, listen, every weekend I have to take most of this stuff that sits in front of me in the studio here, and we'll go the over. Most of this stuff that's in front of me, this board, uh, there was a big case that was on here that's the, that's the, the physical switcher that comes with us, and I have to rerun all of the cords, audio, video, uh, this monitor over here uh, uh, every weekend to do an MMA pay-per-view or, or, a, you know, or, or a live event or a pro wrestling show or something like that. So it, it was getting a little much, right? So we're starting to kind of um, look at at uh, uh, playing, you know, mixing that up a little bit, cr- trying to trying to trying to make it so stuff stays in the studio. Or if there we're if we have two things we have to stream in a night because it is another th- you know something that's happening a lot. Uh, we want to have the the stuff to be able to do those kinds of things, right? And kind of deploy things and teams and everything as far as Sidekick Media goes. So I found myself uh, looking at I was I was I could have gotten another thing, had to buy a case and and everything like that. But what I ended up going with. Is uh, the ATEM Mini is something that's been uh, rolling out here shortly before the pandemic, and this has been like the darling of uh, easy streaming kind of situation. There, we got the Mini Pro, uh, ATEM Mini Pro, and the ATEM, the Blackmagic ATEM. That's what I've been using. Is like, but I have like a two thousand dollar production four K model that we've been using, um, and and it has all the SDI ports. This is if you're on audio. This is an all in one switcher. We've been using a software program. As the switcher, uh, this has four HDMI's. We've talked about it on the show before. Um, you can uh, plug in you, <laughs> the version I have. Uh, I have a hard drive plugged in right now, and uh, and and it is uh, uh, currently recording at least the switcher feed, so it doesn't have the graphics and and the stuff that I'm showing in over over NDI, like the over the shoulder cam and and the graphics from the from the computer right now, or or anything like that. And these things go up for these. <laughs> These things go up to look at this insane insanity that is the ATEM Mini Extreme. Look at those buttons. There's eight inputs and a lot of stuff going on in there. Um, but it's got it's got a lot of fun. And this is the idea. Like you can take it, throw it, throw it together with a laptop, have a four camera shoot 
ready to go. Like when we were doing, uh, you know, I was mentioning doing like some interview shoots like we used to do with Public Source. Um, you know, this, like, like taking that big thing was just so overkill, right? And this seems like the right kind of thing. Um, the other thing is with the big units that I've been using, um, we are unable to, uh, everything has to match across the board. If I'm using eight inputs, everything needs to be set at, it, it, most of the cameras I have will max out at 1080i, right? Uh, in 60 frames a second. Uh, so when I go to like, you know, I was, I was frustrated when I was like, I want to put my iPad in this and the iPad is uh, six, you know, 1080p and everything like that. Uh, so, so like, you know, we, you'd, I'd have to go buy it to scale, rescale your descaler, upscaler, whatever, whichever one I had to get to, um, I guess a down descaler for this one and, uh, and reset it and everything like that. So it, it's, 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 uh, uh, so, so it's flexible for that. Unfortunately, so ideally you're able to USB this into a computer and you could use it as a webcam source. And uh, honestly, we're having some issues with that tonight, but I'm starting to think it might be a computer issue um, because we're using a USB encoder in Elgato actually right now, and it seems to be slowing down on this computer. So I might have another issue. I did install a graphics card on this, so which that shouldn't make much difference, but I, I, it, that's the biggest change I made in the last 24 hours on this machine. Um, but anyways, so the cool thing from this also is that, um, you can, uh, go live directly from, if you saw, uh, you know, my personal Facebook last night, there was a no graphics live switch of last night's, uh, Monday mayhem. I was about to do one here before we were having whatever streaming issues were pro cropping up here. And, uh, so, so I could, uh, you know, you know, change, changing things up. We go through vMix, um, in the, in the studio situation right now, but, uh, you know, I could, I could take this thing, you know, plug it in. And and go live on on at least one platform um, directly from just the unit itself. Um, with you know this is it uses the same software, the ATM software control that the the 4K model uses. So I already have the software on every computer. It just sees the unit and and loads the features right. Like you know, including these extra, you know, I'm recording, you know, to the to the drive now, um, and, and I'm looking at the the HDMI. I'm recording on a Blackmagic recorder over here, and the feed looks great you know, coming off of this. So I know that works. Um, again, getting it into this computer right now to uh, get vMix to work, that's what I need to work on. So it's super flexible. If you're a Twitch streamer that wants to do a little bit more and wants that flexibility, it's got, okay, that was playing with this last, it's got picture in picture that I haven't figured out on here. It's got, uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Here you go. There's some there's some transitions your, for you. Your, your picture in picture is based off of input one okay and another input you wish that's how it is you have the right. Ada mini pro i have the i have the the normal yeah the normal oh well well here you go i just I figured it the out pro there here, you go i don't see. know wait how do i change the secondary one though i don't uh oh wait no, there we are there no, we go i yeah, so i have to set the... i have to set the first one and then you set the second one and now i can do picture in picture there yeah, you go but your in picture, I think, always has to be input one, right? Um, so I think from the looks of it, I turn it on. Hold on. There's an order to this, I think. <laughs> now I just transitioned. Now I can do the uh, the Star Wars wipe transitions, so that's kind of fun. Uh, so, um, but uh, yeah, from there. And if you load, if you load the software on your PC, you can yes. actually load your lower thirds and that, some of that stuff. Yeah, and I'm not entirely clear because it looks like it's using the uh, next transition background key on air kind of situation. Oh, there it is. There it is. There. Okay, that's what. And that then does. you can move it around. You have the buttons in the kind of center towards. Yeah, the top. I can. I can throw it like in either corner, like with this, and they're just buttons sitting here on the unit itself the record and on air is on here and actually so here's the here's the limitation this is why i you know now you can do a multiple like multi uh so i can do this and now this is the multi screen you can do and you see it replaced uh on my other unit it would fill that those those lower eight squares with all eight camera inputs but you see that my audio that comes through the board and we just have our sound board going in through the black magic so it's it's synced up cameras Ooh, i don't know what that was uh, some something doesn't like a resolution over there, but you see the recording status. You see the status for the live and everything like that. Apparently, I lost the camera over there as well. But it, that's that's one of the biggest limitations there. And now I'm having issues with an HDMI. 
stop stop playing with that for a little bit. Um, and I'm going to turn off the I'm going to turn off the transitions too. Um, but again, it, it's it's really nice kind of you know. I, this is this is interesting. I, I didn't see this. Connect to five G and four G phones for mobile data. I do not recommend that. For <laughs> um, and uh, but uh, yeah, it looks like we have some HDMI signal problems here too. That's fun. Uh, I think I got a bad HDMI. Oh, I bumped it loose. That's what I did. So that's the other thing. Everything is right here. So I'm I'm having trouble. Um, like like if you bump the HDMIs and everything like that, it's getting a little funky. So so like that's been an issue. So I need to kind of resort a little bit. So it's in the like you know optimize this for the right. So and yeah, I still have some issues uh, with this. So we'll work with that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, so so it's the ATM Mini Pro that we're doing. We're working through it uh, and and just seeing how it fits into kind of. I guess the way that the ways that we've done things, you know, for 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 a while here, uh, and kind of uh, uh, seeing what we can do with that. So see if see if it adds to the flexibility a little bit, right? So so uh, check out this is the five hundred dollar model. They started at, I think three hundred and uh, go up to I think twelve hundred dollars. Um, there are modes, there are versions of this that you can connect some hard drives and it'll do what's called ISO recording, which means all four or eight. Um, of the cameras that you have connected in will record independent recordings of each of those cameras. And and if you use DaVinci Resolve, which is uh, uh, the editor that, that I think Blackmagic purchased um, from another company, um, you it would spit out a DaVinci Resolve um, project. So you could go in and edit your, like it would have all the switching, I think, in it. And you can go back, oh man, I'm, I missed a shot on this wrestling, you know, uh, move or something like that. You can go back and just switch it. It's all there, kind of thing. That's cool. That's really cool. So I might have to. Well, I, that, that, that's not with this one, but if on those bigger versions, it, it would it would be very tempting to download uh, DaVinci Resolve and try that <laughs> for for the, something the, like that. The, one of the cool things I like is you can plug in like you were like, obviously you're plugging in a bunch of cameras mm -hmm. plugged in. Um, streaming devices where like I can mirror cast wirelessly from a device so mm -hmm. like i'll, I'll mm -hmm. mirror cast directly to it i've plugged in iphones and ipads and now which one do you have those directly from it um i have the regular atem mini okay so like the, the yeah the lower one yeah and it's great just yep. for and, and and if you just want to spruce up your zoom calls because this will plug in again we weren't we weren't happy with and again i i think it's another issue i wasn't happy with the the performance so far but i'm not with this and this is an elgato cam link that i'm using um, the other, the other thing we, we, I had to, I had to ditch my black magic intensity that we've been using for the longest time. And maybe that's it. This is kind of a lower end, um, device. Um, so, so like, but again, everything is great going into the recorder. This is something in software coming into the computer. That's a problem. If I was doing this differently, that I was going directly from the unit, I think this would be a clean feed. Um, absolutely. So, um, so we're, we're kind of figuring that out. So, um, I'm sure I'll, I'll be, I'll be looking at that. And, and like I said, we're going to be trying, I, I am, I do not recommend this. If, if, if it doesn't have the flexibility for a lot of things we need to do that we've been doing for pay-per-views and live streams for like live multi-cam sporting cage ring events. Um, so I do not recommend this for that. Uh, you know, depending on what you need to do. If you need to have a, a display of what all the shots look like at the same time as multiple monitors going to different places, like a commentator and, and in, in-house video and, and just a screen for backstage and stuff like that, do not get this. This is not for you. Uh, it, 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 it just absolutely is not. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're hitting our head right now on, on what that looks like. Um, you know, and, and what that looks like for doing these shows. Um, so, um, but you're, if you're doing a show like this and you just want this and don't have like crazy graphics you want to use and want to use vMix and stuff and bring in RTMP and NDI feeds like we do over on vMix, like this is great. This is perfect for doing YouTube, Twitch, Facebook live stuff uh, for sure. So don't, don't it, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, even working with like OB, like I use it with OBS. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I use OBS to do all my screens and scenes mm -hmm. and then just bring it as in it as it, it in as multiple sources. So 
you can you can get fancy with it and just use it as a camera switcher. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, let's get let's get rolling since we are on uh, Chilla Pumpkin time here. Uh, Katie, what's your awesome thing of the week? Yes. Okay, let's we can we can skip my awesome thing of the week if you guys want to tell me what I need to do with this guy because what? you know I've been sitting with this ex. And just chomping at the bit to see what's coming out now. I even have the, taped up the case at this point because the case cracked. Like, what what we got going on with this new iPhone? The new me, iPhone, me, me. you're saying? Uh, well, let's see. I, I just lost my feed for the other video. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, you need to get a new phone. <laughs> yeah. You're, I mean, it's, 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 it's a, it, it's not even a question. Like a new phone is is definitely whether it be the mini. You don't need to get. Listen, I'm get, I'm getting the pro. Let's be let's be honest yeah. about this. So tell me, like, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me again. So I, I can so, get the 11 or the 12 or the 13. Like, why do I need this 13? Why do you need the 13? I mean, well, I well, I I think I well, my general rule is you get the newest one because it's going to last longer in updates, right? Mm -hmm. You always do that. I, I I think that's just that's just it, right? Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, I you know, it, it doesn't matter which one you get. Just get one of them that were announced today. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, get whatever com comp comparable one that you want, or if you want it a little bit more, everything's gonna have. Uh, 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 Missy, Missy's got the X as well, and she was like, "What? What was it?" She said that something was. Um, She's like, oh, that feature hasn't worked for me for a while. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And it's like, oh, I dropped it. It was like, I did drop it one time. It's been acting a little funny. I was like, well, that's an antenna. So, yeah, that's that's probably been messed up. And we probably should have taken to Apple Care, <laughs> to be honest. Um, he's like, yeah, it's, it's been doing this. It wouldn't let it. I think the, the FaceTime was being weird for her. Like, it doesn't work every time, like generally anymore. Uh, so things like that. Uh, so, I, I yeah, it, it's... It, one, if you've been, you know, these things are in our pockets. They're getting dropped. I mean, this is the most physically taxing tax device is an iPhone, right? Maybe aside from maybe a watch. Um, you know, like, you saw that role about like that that new thing about don't don't use your iPhone on a motorcycle. And I think Rob uh, De La Credo was in there and said, yeah, I have a crappy Android to do directions when I'm on my motorcycle, so I'm not ruining my iPhone. Um, so so either way, you've had your phone for th probably three years, like I have. It's time. It's just oh, yeah, I, I know it's time, but like what happened today that why I need to go all in? Oh, oh, so oh, oh, I see you're feeding me. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's called a segment. A segue I'm sorry. Into... <laughs> I thought you were, I thought you were, you were like, why do I need an iPhone right now? Is it... Um, all right, so we did announce the Apple iPhones. We 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 did get the announcements for the Apple iPhones um, over on there, and unfortunately, my visuals aren't coming up. I'm gonna fix that here real quick. Um, but uh, it, it, it is so we have the 13, the 13 Mini, and the uh, 13 Pro and Pro Max. Um, and uh, the 13s are, of course. Um, I don't know, Chilla. What's what's wh where do I start with these things? So I so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just just jump to the to to w why I would pitch the pro, um, and I, I would if you've ever worked with an iPad Pro mm -hmm. um, versus the regular iPads, I and my son can both see the ProMotion 120 Hertz adaptive refresh in the display mm -hmm. we can actually pick up on that especially when playing games he mm -hmm. actually i noticed he was trying to take my ipad all the time to play um a star wars game and he was like it just looks like better on yours dad and i'm like no you're being crazy so we swapped ipads and i'm like give me my ipad back this sucks <laughs> um so so the the i would say from from the display as well as I find myself using all three cameras. So the pro has the telephoto, the ultra wide and the wide. And I find myself using the ultra wide. Like if you're, if it's that family photo and you know, you, you can't back all the way, you can't back further up against the wall that you're literally backed up against. And the rest of the family is spread across the room for a photo. Mm -hmm. um the ultra wide 
and and you don't want to obviously take a panorama of the family. Yeah. Um, that I I have found that for you know school videos, um, whatever, super great. Um, better battery life. Everyone likes better battery life. Um, those are the three things that I would probably cinematic pitch. mode. Ma- yeah, and the for macros, everything. Cinematic. For everything. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, on the video side, I- I'm trying to put it in normal, mm-hmm. normal human. But you're you're not always the normal human. No. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, and especially like you, you guys, especially are are, are kind of you know photography nerds a little bit right so oh I, yeah i mean they're the, the stuff that they're doing is incredible the rack focus on the cinematic mode looks incredible that it's like tracking hey we see a person's coming in the frame so we're going to put the focus on them and we see they look at this object so we'll rack a focus over to that object it's like what <laughs> so i'm very excited to give some shots of that and maybe doing some cinematic stuff but of course the pictures just look ridiculous um the, i mean it's it's I, i've been absolutely shocked uh, uh uh our buddy rob rob brown um that does a lot of video for us for the for the for the for the pro wrestling um he was front in the front row of aew when they were in town here and his pictures he's just like and the videos that he got he's like i'm getting better videos from my seat in the front row at this wrestling show than most indie wrestling wrestling companies are getting at ringside and i was like yes you are it, I, like i it just he was showing the pictures and everything and i was just blown away at how what that 12 looks like and of course this is the next step up and we're sitting on three-year-old phones and we're like oh i, I don't think i need a new phone then we see something from a 12 i'm like <laughs> Damn it, we need a new phone, right? <laughs> so, um, and 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 I always take it with a grain of salt when they show these beautiful pictures and cinematic videos. You're like, well, they had the best, you know, they had the best opportunities and and all that kind of stuff. This isn't just something shot in the wild. Like they're they got the lighting and they're working with cinematographers and all that kind of stuff to make this work, right? They they got a jib and you know, it, 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 attaching crap to a drone to get those amazing shots they're getting sometimes. And, and it's just, you know, there there was something this weekend where uh, working the Barrel Flow Fest and Matt uh, down there, he was he had his DSLR and I believe and 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 I think they had a um, oh I was just looking them up. What do you call those things? Uh, the the gimbals, right? And they did this this like spin shot in the middle of Southside Works with uh, with the guys from uh, Drinking Partners that 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 created the whole thing. And and had this like rack focus slow mo 120 frames thing going on, and then like I'm watching these videos, and I'm like, I can just do that with my iPhone now, right? Um, and not even like I'm gonna get like the big one because I now treat iPhones like I do computers, where it's okay. What is the the most tricked out one to get? Because now I know these will last three years. Because this was the most tricked out phone I could get. In I looked at March 23rd, 2018. <laughs> when I got this thing, right? And it is other than like, hey, it kind of loads Twitter slow, but it's like, man, the videos still look good. It's still rocking pretty good. Honestly, I'm playing video games and they look fantastic on here. Um, so like, it, it, it's that same thing. It's just like you buy the tricked out MacBook Pro, so you don't have to buy one hopefully for three or four years, right? So, um, so yeah, I'm looking at a sixteen hundred dollar phone. Uh, so, so are you going? You going terabyte? Oh, I'm going terabyte. Dude, come on, come on, come on. I went two fifty six on this. Although I know I'm not sure. Once I, I I was starting to max it out, but I think something wild was happening with system files at the time. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, we're doing this. We're, we're so, going so, all out for this. Just stutters the 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 one thing I would do if you if you want, like so I have given up getting in line and, and, you know, getting in line early and getting to the store the day of launch. Mm-hmm. My, my, so what I literally do is I have a phone, two iPads and a <laughs> Mac. Okay. And I'm, I have my alarm set for seven thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. I, you, you, Cause they used to launch at midnight, right? Yes. So you had to be up at like two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Now they're, they do 5 AM. Yes. Pacific time. Specific time. So, so good. I'm glad you're answering this question because this is the first time I'm going to do this, and so I, I want to know what the strategy is. I get all ready. I put. I take a couple devices, and I get them on Apple.com. Mm-hmm. 
and then I take a couple devices and I put them on the the Apple um, Store app. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm talking like if you're gonna not not like the App Store app like the yeah the store I want to buy products like this the, the store app that looks like you're carrying a bag out of the Apple Store icon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I get a couple devices with that, and you just you just wait till 8 a.m. Eastern time and you just start tapping across all of them. Mm-hmm. And the first one that hits, you just you just finish go the transaction <laughs> on go. that one. Yep. And then keep in mind, like, I don't know what you guys do from a carrier or whatever. There is, there is now the option of, and it's the option I use. Um, there's the option of, I'll figure out my carrier later. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Because if you're paying full price for the device, like I, I use the Apple. Okay. Payment plan. So, uh, and I've had, and I don't know, I haven't checked in a while, but my credit used to be a lot, a lot worse, and I could, I never qualified for it. But I do do the AT and T Next plan. Okay. Is that a problem? I don't know. Okay. I've never, so I've always done them. Mm-hmm. Either I either have bought them outright, mm-hmm. or now I actually use the payment plan because it's zero percent interest. Yeah. Um, and I'm carry, I'm typically carrying two devices mm-hmm. all the time, like because. We did a, you know, the, the 12 will go to car, the 12 Pro will go to Carlisle, I'll take the 13. Her 11 goes Christopher. Like we do the hand me down plan. Um, so I'm always, I'm always a phone deep in, in payment <laughs> plan, but I don't, it's not with my care. What I like is it's not with the carrier. Right. So if I ever decided or there was some great deal, I can jump carriers no problem. And listen, if you with Apple, if you go carrier free, I yeah. can take my phone. Listen, listen I'm stuck with my AT and T, whether I like it or not. Thankfully, I'm I'm very happy with AT and T because I just looked. I I forgot that we have yet another family member we have a, on the plan. Uh, like I literally, I'm like, why do we have three iPhone SEs that we're paying for? And they're like, oh yeah, that's for my uncle. I'm like, oh right. Okay, I forgot we did that. So uh, I am literally married to AT and T right now because it's all the in laws. Uh, so, um, so, 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 yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So it's, it's AT and T or Buzz for me. Um, but yeah, good. I, I, I was just uh, that actually that just reminded me of a note I, that I made on here. Uh, speaking of going through the, the carrier, like just like for context, I'm currently with with Verizon. That's like mm-hmm. that's been my carrier for a while. And I'm like couple months away from being completely paid off and on, I, and I think, on the 24 month one and i think katie is too yeah so that's <laughs> it what <laughs> so it's just a, so well the, the note the thing that i noted on here when i was reading into the because they have the the like they have the the deal directly through apple then they have like the, the partnerships through the different carriers that they gave you more yeah. info on the website on yeah the thing i n- noticed was that i don't know and i i bring I do want to preface this by saying I don't remember if this is how they did it with the 12 mm-hmm. when they announced it last year, but I noticed on the trade in for the 13 or 13 pros um, that if you trade in through a carrier, you can get a cheaper deal per month. Yes. But it's a longer period. It's 30 months instead of 24, which yes. was interesting to me just because it's like. If you're like, thinking three years, you're good to go, right? So, let, I mean, even just looking at this, let's, let's pull it up here. I'm looking at my Pro Max. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's, let's just say we're getting a blue one. Uh, one terabyte, because let's go. Yeah, so here you got you got your your do 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 such and such and, and whatever a month before trade-in, it's saying. So all of them right now are landing at, it looks like, uh, uh, 66 62 a month for this one. Um, so let me say I'm going to do my AT&T. You roll through. Do you have one to trade in with Apple? Let's say you do. Yes. Okay. And then you you throw your model in, and it tells you how much you can get out of it. And hey, whoa, you can throw your Google Pixels and LGs in here as well. Uh, but and, and it, galaxies. And it's like like for my eight plus, I could get $180 for it. Uh, listen, up until a few months ago, I could get $700 for my eight plus. I want to point out. So um, so so there's that. So it depends on what you have. And I think at the top here it says now it was doing it earlier. I don't see it now, but it was saying at the top. Maybe it's before you select something. 
Um, but uh, it was telling you the different like trade-ins. Like some of them, so you're, and you're right, some of them were giving you up to $1,000 uh, in some cases, and then others were like six, seven hundred dollars for your trade-ins. So for for presumably the same lineup of phones. So that's yeah, that's and also remember we 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 also have. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're doing monthly. I pick my AT and T. That's going for and again, it's what we're talking about there. Forty one sixty four a month for thirty six, or I'm paying sixty two a month if I'm doing the Apple uh, version of the payments, or seventy something with the upgrade program if you're doing that. Um, and then your Apple Care, you can do um, monthly or two years. So, what's your right? Going? So, but go ahead. So I, was, I was just going to point out uh, you 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 pointed out the the thirty six month, and so that's the other thing to point out real quick is just the flexibility with mm -hmm. these different payments. Because like I'm looking at the website right now, and it, by default it will show me the twenty four month, like for the before the trade in. But when I looked into the trade in thing through a carrier. I, and that's the thing I want to make a note of is that it wasn't it wasn't 36 months it wasn't 24 at least through Verizon I, maybe it's, it's dependent on carrier as well but for the Verizon it's a 30 month and that was interesting to me just because of the fact that it's 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 that weird number in between the two mm -hmm. but I think like depending on depending on the condition and stuff I think for example let, like let's say I'm trading in let's say I trade in my 11 Pro mm -hmm. uh, for a 13 Pro. And I think it ended up saying like nine or ten bucks or something like that per month for thirty months. Said an eleven through... eleven pro, uh, you'd be getting four hundred and fifty dollars off. And then right. that and then that sets you at about twenty six sixty three for over thirty months for variety. Right. It, yeah, yeah, see there you go. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like so, so. maybe it, maybe it's a carrier thing then because yeah, absolutely. like I said, when I looked at it, it's like it was interesting to me. It was like you know, it's not quite. It's 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 more than two years, but it's also mm -hmm. it's not exactly like it's two and a half years, quite literally. Like yeah, yeah. So this is, but, but that it's just interesting. I think it's also interesting because of uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I was just thinking it's interesting because of like tech cycles. Mm -hmm. Because it's like when I got my 11 Pro, I even got it. I went into it thinking, okay, by the time I'm done paying this off, I I will I will completely skip the 12. Mm -hmm. I'll pro I may consider whatever the 13 one looks like by right. the time I actually... but, but by the time you get done, how many months do you say you had left? Uh, I'm like two or three. I, I think it's so, in November. So you're going to find yourself payment. at the end of this year, and you're going to look at your phone and be like, well, is it worth this, or can I last until September? That's what I was looking at this, that, that, at that time last mm -hmm. year. It's like, do, yeah. do, I'll hold out. You know, that's fine. Yeah, let's, get exactly. another, let's, let's see if we can get another year out of this, right? Um, right. And I think that's it. And, and, and we've talked about before, these phones are so high end and, and so well built on the Apple side that they're, they've, they have stretched from two to three year phones. Right. It, I mean, yeah, I, 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 it, it was a high end one at the at the time, but that I, I have the first iPad Pro and I'm not even considering an upgrade. <laughs> you know, it still does yeah. like basically everything. Yeah. Did you still, um, was it germ? I think it was Germany that they want to pass a law that says like cell phone manufacturers have to support devices for seven years. Seven years. Well, I think Apple is pretty close to that already. Um, Apple's pretty close. Go Google's yeah. in trouble. <laughs> so, <laughs> Google is definitely in trouble. The, um, the single reason I tell people not to get Android is because of support. Hmm. Yeah, the OS support is yeah, not. It's yeah, it's abysmal. Fair. Abysmal. So. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, Katie, do you have any more questions as an upgrader? <laughs> I, I'm, I figured out like it's like $1,600. Oh, I'll get $200 for my ex, by the way, it's, it's in not, case guys, you're wondering. Guys, it's not worth it. Just, it's, just, it's not it's, worth it. Yeah, I, at it really that point, I no. keep it for other things. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sorg, you need another camera. <laughs> oh, I do. Well, so unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't plug it in because I was going to show off. I got my Filmic Pro camera working with my switcher. Now that I don't have the high end one, that'll actually change stuff up. Um, and now, and then it died because I don't have it plugged in. It, apparently, plugging in this computer didn't charge it enough. Um, but yeah, like, like seriously, I'm looking at. I was talking to somebody today. I'm like, I, well, I'm not trading in my eight plus because this is a 4K camera, guys. <laughs> so, and you can get Filmic Pro, throw the adapter in there, and you can get a straight HDMI out of this thing. If you just need like a camera that sits in the corner, and I got to check on latency and stuff. Like I have another camera for live switches, <laughs> more or less. I could, 
hypothetically replace replace these hold on let me get a visual on you see these like high-end like like prosumer cameras that we have in here the, the the old ones that we've had for years right i could replace these with this and that success over there and this success here directly into my switcher and that could be how we do our studio hypothetically yes right and and i mean for somebody that's like i want to do twitch stuff and need a nice camera don't get rid of it you know if if it was you know the, i still have the fours and the five s's lying around too just in case but i don't think i can put anything on them at this point you know because if you're in a well-lit situation like we are here in the studio like they're great they're still great cameras that you can use comparatively to the facetime the the, the webcam on any of these laptops in here are, they're absolute trash uh so uh, or even on the new ones you buy so no it was exciting so we talked about phones for a second before we lose chilla uh and i think you're on your way out uh can you, you got a last Ooh, yeah. word on uh uh ipads or more specifically probably the watch series 7 that was announced so not on the watch because i'm not in the i actually just got the six not too long ago mm -hmm. um i was super impressed with the mini mm -hmm. um they've moved to kind of the ipad pro form factor um 5g you know bionic 13 chip they <clears throat> it's the first non-pro ipad to move to the gen 2 um pencil which i thought was super cool um the device just looks great they increased without really increasing the screen size they've increased the display size in the screen um i think they they brought over the, yep, they did. They brought over center stage. So it's the mm -hmm. first non-pro to have the newer camera capabilities to keep you centered in the frame or kind of yeah, auto, to your point, auto zoom out. Yeah, it's the one that kind of follows you as you go. Yep. Um, just kudos all around. Now, the one thing that you're, you're, you definitely see that in the reflection of the price. I'm fairly certain Um pretty sure the mini used to baseline at 399 um it's now baselined yeah. at 499 yes but chilla it comes in purple which the pro the, the if you need a purple phone you can't get that with the pro oh <sighs> that's okay that's all right all right all right you so for my apple accessorizing we're all set to go i got it okay uh <laughs> <laughs> I just really well, I'm, I'm super I just... I'm super impressed with the mini mm -hmm. as, a, as a pro user and I use the pro day in and day out mm -hmm. um, I thought they did a really nice job with the mini good sorry Alex go ahead oh I was just I was just gonna say I was picturing the Eric Andre meme what if it was or what uh yeah what if it was purple uh, <laughs> yeah uh, I do I, I do I want to bring up on on the iPad I have one minor gripe but I want to preface by saying that I understand why tech tech wise, I'm, I'm a little bummed that the base model, like that the upgrade to the base model iPad doesn't support second gen pencil, but I mm -hmm. understand why I get it. I, so you're talking, was, you're talking about the full size iPad. Yeah. The full size iPod, the 10.2 that's coming out, uh, the 329 one. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't like, redo the form factor. Uh, no, right. right. They didn't redo. Yeah, exactly. So I understand that because it doesn't have like the, um, I'm I'm going I just from looking at it, I don't think it has the like the sides like mm -hmm. the the iPad it, Pro it, and now the iPad Mini do. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have the sides and it, it still has a lightning. And it and it still has the home button. It still uh, has the home button. Yeah, that's that was the the thing that that just took me by surprise when I was looking at the comparisons. Like, oh, this has a home button still. That's a, and that, but that I mean it's it's a Touch ID home button, whereas like the new the, you know the newer iPad Pro and now the iPad Mini they have the Touch. Touch ID in the, mm. in the home button or not the pro the, the pro has Face ID. Oh yeah, the, sorry, the pro has Face ID. Which is the iPad uh, Mini has iPad it's, Air. Yeah. That's what it was. I think the iPad the, Air yeah, has the, the touch Air ID and the, the Mini the have the button. Touch ID built into button. the to the power button. Yeah, I, uh, but yeah, I was like, oh, that that I just found that really I found that really interesting more than anything. But yeah, it was just I, the only reason I bring up the the pencil support is because I was looking at the comparison between the models. And I was looking specifically at, you know, the, the, the newer, the, the fairly new iPad Pro, the newest iPad mini coming out, and the newest uh, 10.2 iPad, the, the newest 320. I, 
I, I guess to the new iPad, it's the best way to put it. You know, mm-hmm. we we know that it's it's priced the way it is because of you know, and one of the, I I remembered in the keynote that they even brought up like you know, and with education pricing, it's even cheaper. It's two ninety nine. It's like okay, yeah, that's that's why it is. That's what that's why it's set up the way that it is. Which is actually kind of nice. It's a nice it's a nice alternative. And I think that's what I like the most about these iPads is that with the updates to the mini, you now have a nice. Uh, you yeah, you have a nice spread of different kinds of models, mm-hmm. you know. And that was like, <clears throat> that was always something that was super weird to me about the mini, even the even at the old price point, it was still more expensive than the iPad normal. Yeah, that that that's um, a plot which iPad was always kind of weird. But now I feel like it's differentiated, and I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't something to do with component sourcing. So moving, I'm sure they have plenty of touch ID sensors sitting around on shelves. The touch, the fingerprint in the power button. I I don't know what their, what the cost to manufacture that is. I don't know what the yield is. I don't know how easy it is to get parts right now. I do know in talking to a major supplier of universal docks (laughs) for PCs and Macs, there is actually a sh- there was a shortage of headphone jacks so they actually redesigned their entire dock line same make it, same model number same primary model number with like a minor like a, a rev version change same driver set same everything the difference being is they removed the headphone jacks because they can't source them right now so they couldn't provide any docks and it was better to provide a dock without a a headphone jack than it was to stop yielding docks so i wouldn't like i said i wouldn't be surprised if it didn't have something to do with supply chain makes sense makes sense well chilla i i don't want to keep it too long because i know you got you got you got some stuff to take care of here and we'll we'll continue here and talk about watches and who knows what else here for for at least a couple minutes so uh so but thanks thanks for, thanks for hopping in thanks for having me so, uh, so we there is the watch. We'll mention the watch. It is a Series Seven. It is bigger. You can now type on your watch. However, I don't know. Anybody excited about typing on their watch at this point? <laughs> I, I mean, I, 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 I use the uh, I use the dictation on on, mm-hmm. on my Series Six once. Yeah, or yeah. Twice, so that's nice. But yeah, I don't know about typing on my watch. If, like, if I gotta type something out, I'm probably gonna be on my phone. I, 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 you know, one of the big things is that it's the bigger size, right? And uh, there, there's the comparison uh, if you're on our visuals right now from Apple.com. Um, so it's a little bigger, and I think we generally have the bigger watches of the S- Series Three. Um, I think my mother has a Series Six, um, and I, I haven't looked at it comparatively, and she may have the smaller of the two. Um, but I, I just like kind of thinking about um, uh, Katie. So I, I, I'm not sure, and I haven't co- talked to. To, to, to Missy about this, I don't know if she would want a bigger watch, right? Because you get to a certain point, uh, if you're not a, a bigger, you know, person, like that, that's going to start getting a little hefty, isn't it? Yeah, my wrists aren't very big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I, I, I don't know, and you, you're not a, you're not an Apple Watch user at all, right? I, like, mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen you one. So I mean. It, it's gotta be. I can't. I can't tell. This is not out until fall, so you you can't purchase it yet. Um, I think they're in the same. They're still an SE in the series. Which one are they still selling? Is it still a series three? Six. Is it series? No. Uh, series three, series SE, and and or, sorry, and and the and the seven now. Yeah. Wow, we're I still have, have selling. We're still for... selling a three. Wow, that's yeah. Interesting. That, that, that's that's that uh, that's that that's for that crowd that. Is interested in an Apple Watch? Hey, it's 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 two hundred dollars. So sure. That's, yeah, exactly. You know, because uh, so, I I've, I've I had a Series Three for a while, but then eventually it, mm-hmm. it's funny and it's kind of funny you bring up the size of the Series Seven because that's the the size of the the actual watch itself is part of the reason that I ended up finally upgrading. Well, mm-hmm. that and the, you, I I I'm hoping that they eventually resolve the issue with Series Three. Uh, of whenever a new uh, watch OS update came, like, and I'm not even talking about the major releases. I'm talking about like point releases. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the last several months that I had my 
by Series 3, every time a point release of an update for Watch OS came out, I had to, like... I, I never had enough storage according to, to, to my watch. Mm-hmm. And I had to, like, wipe the thing, basically. I had to, like, factory reset just to get it to, to update. And that's interesting because uh, 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 my wife and I both have Series 3s, and we have not seen that problem, to be honest. I, yeah. So, I, I, obviously, I, not everybody's I, getting it, so... No, right. Yeah, it's not, well, no, that's the th- that's Ooh. the thing. Only only some people have had that issue. With, but there's enough people that have had the issue where I, I I saw that it was it was a recurring enough thing. I was like, oh, I'll get the series six. Of course, this was a few months ago. I think it was shortly after I had moved too, which makes the fact that we have an announcement of a new watch all the time. I was like, well, uh, I do want to say like I think what's almost more interesting than the fact that it's bigger like the watch is bigger is that there's is best is a bezel be, is bezel the right word for bezel yes uh, yeah bezel thank you um so it, it's it's smaller even there than it was on the six which is kind of cool like it's it's closer to you know a truly full screen effect mm-hmm. which i think they mentioned something about like wraparound effects and stuff where where it's almost like um it's almost like a watch equivalent of Oh, I forgot what the name of the phone is. The the one that's the edge one, where you mm-hmm. can do stuff on the edge of the phone. It's almost oh, the, like that. Not the, quite there, but it's the uh, the Samsung Edge, I believe. Yeah, it was. the Samsung the 7, Edge. Yeah, I yeah. It, it's yeah. almost like that because of how much more screen real estate there is. They they, um, they say it's more resistant, which is great because if you're going to make more great, screen yeah. to the edge, that means I'm going to break it. Oh, so that's <laughs> that's, a, that, that's something they t- they also touched upon something from the upcoming Watch OS eight. Mm-hmm. Which is stuff to do with riding bikes. I was like, that's great. If mm-hmm. I if I was riding bikes more, I would love it even more. I I, I think we know somebody that that rides bikes a lot. Yes, I think we know. I think that. we know a couple of them in the chat room. Yeah, uh, yeah so it's like yeah, they're gonna love that. So no, um, I'm excited for that and yeah. the fitness stuff where you know Pilates is included. I'm like, well, let's try Pilates. Let's see how that works, right? Um, you know, uh, and 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 there was something else I think they had added to um, coming up with that. So no, yeah, the more diversity in that, and even giving you like honestly, I've never tried hit before. That's that's hit with two eyes apparently, and I tried it because I did fitness plus. I'm waiting a little before I do hit again. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ready for that. So, um, but but still, like it, it exposes you to these other um, fitness things. Like like oh, I can better track being on a bike maybe i should bike more you know as somebody who's kind of trying to creep into being more fit you know that has no idea never did half of this stuff before um the hand holding between the the watch and the fitness situation is really nice for somebody like me so but um i don't know katie yeah. what, do you, what do you think and look at the, as the outside haven't had an apple watch uh person I, I I like that I, I like all the I like the thing cool things that Apple Watch does. I, I like the um the the fitness aspect. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And um but I also uh, I I'm really I, I like the I the um be able to look at things on my wrist as opposed to constantly looking at my phone too. Like whether or not it's worth picking my phone up mm-hmm. if it's a text. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that that's the biggest thing. I'm from Google Glass to Pebble to now this, like the idea of just having that instantaneous kind of thing. It was uh-huh. just life changing, right? So, I mean, I, I get I get notifications every time somebody walks on my porch, you know, or in the studio. You know, I mean, that's how uh, Katie. I was driving when you walked into my studio uh, <laughs> uh, when I was on my way to Tennessee for for an event. And uh, I'm just, and then that's why I think I texted you like immediately. I'm like, what did you just do? <laughs> so and when you left something on my on my desk here in the studio, um, so like like that's that's great, you know. And then things like the blood oxygen and the the e- ECGs and everything like that. Like I'm so glad. I think my mother has the six, so she has that newer stuff and and the fall notifications and everything like that. Uh, you know, especially today when people are worried about you know the O2 levels. We talked about the the odometers a couple of weeks ago, but if it's like you know consistent checking on that and you can see patterns like that's so much more helpful especially with the things that are going around today you know with COVID and other things right so um 
It just should be like, do I have COVID app at this point? Um, but <laughs> I mean, I, I, honestly, and even I'll sit there. I just, um, um, wife's out of town. I don't have the car. So I walk to get our sponsor pizza tonight. By the way, Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with Perfect Pepperoni Pizza. I forgot to plug them tonight because we're doing a different format. But there they are. Please go check them out. Thank you. I got the plug in. Uh, but I walk down you know, down the, 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 the neighborhood and back and, uh, sat down. I was like, Oh no, I feel a little off, you know, is, am I just exhausted or is something up? So I'll check my heart rate and I'm like, if I'm just sitting here and it's like at like 160, I got a problem. Right. And, and say, no, no, it's just me. You're good. It's, 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 it's a good level. Um, like just that little reassurance that of reading your body. Right. So I, it, it, I think it's invaluable for that kind of stuff. So, um, so iPads, watches, iPhones. I think we're getting a couple of iPhones out of this crew here. Um, um Sorg. Yes. I sorry. I have I have two more notes. I, I mentioned sure. before we get that. Like I I literally wrote down notes of the most minuscule things out of everything on uh, uh, from the keynote and whatnot. Uh, for for the watch, I want to make a quick note. Uh, where on the website it says uh oh. Just as a preface, this is your wrestling crossover for the night. Mm -hmm. uh, physics be damned. Dan Housen will not be pleased with, app with Apple swearing on its website. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I forgot. I don't remember where on, on the on the page for the watch, but it, there's a phrase, physics be damned. I was like, oh, Dan Housen won't be pleased with mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, but also on the phone, the one thing, the one very minor touch that I like about it is that the two cameras on the main iphone 13 mm -hmm. are actually like diagonally instead of like up you know just straight line up and down mm -hmm. uh i like that purely because it's like it looks like the cameras themselves are actually bigger as a result which is a great little up upgrade just on it's a it's a very minor upgrade from the from the 12 but it's, it's a nice touch mm. just because it's like i was looking at the 12 i'm looking you know early even you know you look at the 11 you look at the 12 compared to the pro Obviously, the Pro has that extra telephoto lens, but it's just nice to see that because they, because they quite literally just moved one of the two cameras on the main iPhone 13 a little bit, mm -hmm. put it diagonally, made it just a little bit bigger, and probably work out very nice. So I, like I said, just a very minor detail on that. Uh, last but not least, I like that they up some of the storage, like the the baseline storage mm -hmm. on some of these devices. Mm -hmm. Like we, we talked earlier about the fact that one of the, you know, one of the iPhone models you can get up to like a terabyte. It's like, it's like hold on a second. <laughs> you get a terabyte of, of space on but, your phone. But, but you're going to get, and this is where I start geeking out. And I started to tweet about the salivating. You're mm -hmm. going to get on the phone here in the coming months, uh, ProRes. Now, uh, Katie, you're you're in photography, so you know what raw uh, files are for photography, right? Yeah. And that's a big deal. And I believe iPhones do those now with current models, correct? I think so. Like yeah. I think there's mm -hmm. something around that. And the idea is, is mm -hmm. bigger, more information, you can do more with it. ProRes is the kind of thing that I record on these recorder devices that I have here, and that is is a native format for professional high quality recording that you can that is native to things like final cut pro i believe premiere will do it natively as well um that's a big freaking deal okay as far as when okay. we're also applying that to these cinematic modes that are happening and the things you can do with those new lenses and everything that's a big deal uh so what, what i'm so, hearing but, that we're gonna but, get bigger but, files and all, yes and also <laughs> your Sorry. files are going to explode and you're going to need that terabyte, okay? And that's why I'm getting the terabyte, okay? This fair. thing is going to have that more storage on it than my MacBook Pro because I only got half a terabyte at the time um, because that's all the only model I could find at, at Best Buy I think I got it from. I just dropped my phone. As we, I just dropped my phone. Can't order this thing so, uh, uh, early, uh, quick <laughs> enough, uh, apparently. So, um, no, absolutely. Very excited about that. Very excited about the, you know, I just gloss over like it can do this. Can be like, you, okay, you do a lot of stuff that makes it look pretty. Get it in my hand so I can make some stuff. Um, so, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to reformat the old eight plus and start 
turn it into a studio camera maybe over my shoulder here, you know, <laughs> so or however we're going to end up doing that. So I, I, it, 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 this this is this is this is exciting. And listen, I'm in the mode where it's like, you know, tell me what my new phone is. It's that year for me. It's that year for a lot of us because a lot of us jumped that year when, oh, the, yeah. when the when the exciting new X came out. Right. Um, so so that's I, I mean, that's that, that that's it. If you if you got a 12, if you're walking around with the 12, don't you're fine. Please, you're fine. You're fine. Unless you unless you threw it down the stairs, you know, like you're, you're getting in a puddle or off a boat. Uh, you're 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 fine. OK, you're fine. Just just. Uh, but if you're you're at that 11 and you're kind of considering and you're a little more of a photo buff or or you got the uh, the 10 or the uh, the X or the X. Uh, XR or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah, you should. And, and, and it's feeling a little sluggish. It's feeling a little off. Yeah, you should probably, you know, you can that. And, and you don't need to get the big one. Uh, something like the, um, I'm trying to pull them up again. Um, but just even looking at like your, your uh, uh, phone mini, iPhone mini and, uh, and, and the regular one, like that's, that's fine. Katie, you're probably just getting the, the norm, the, the regular 13, correct? <laughs> or are you thinking wait were you think, thinking wait wait wait, wait wait what are you thinking now did we talk you into the pros she's, she's gonna get that pro max just, mm -hmm. just, just you watch so, so i'm getting some slack from some folks in my life right now because oh, okay. i told them how much the 13 pro cost pro max cost and they're like that's yikes was the response mm -hmm. and um I, so when I got the X, when it came out, it was a, eleven fifty at the time. I think it was one thousand one hundred fifty dollars roughly at the time because I went with the bigger storage, and um, their phones are both one thousand one hundred fifty dollars. So like, I kept mine for when did the iPhone or when did the X come out? I think we're working on like what four years now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Twenty eighteen. I was so, looking at. I, I, you know, it's it's funny. Because you you say that, and all I can think of is, I I remember when the X, I remember when the iPhone 10 came out, and people were almost freaking out about the fact that it was an iPhone that was a thousand bucks for like the main models. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. look where we're at now, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I am amazed. Like, I I thought I paid more than a thousand bucks for mine, because but saying like it only cost me about a thousand bucks, but I also got like not the new fancy FaceTime cameras, right? Like I got the high end of the old stuff because I was like, no, I don't need new stuff that'll fail on me because we don't know how this FaceTime thing is going to go. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. I'm like, I'd rather get the old camera or the old one that has the, the nicer camera and everything like that. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that, that I didn't go with the X because I feel like I'd be feeling a pinch a little bit more. Right. Um, but uh, at this point, and it feels like that when I see what the problems that Missy's having with hers. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, man, they, but, but also again, it's just, it, 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 it it's, you're, you're, you're a professional, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like doing but events and social media. This medias. is what I, yeah. this is where I, I, I do everything. This Yo, this is... is just like going out and getting that MacBook Pro for an obscene amount of money. We can get, I mean, Missy just got like an insane, uh, 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 insane super powered a uh, gaming uh laptop for fifteen hundred dollars and i'm like you do photoshop oh, but you know and then and then i literally paid twice as much for my macbook but it's like it works it doesn't fail we're good and it's gonna and i'm gonna have it for three or four years we're fine you know mm -hmm. it's like that that's the idea and 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 why we're on the apple side of things right so that's that's it that's it. And that's also why I keep buying these damn things, these Apple tags. This is my third, <laughs> fourth pack, four pack, by the way. And I have. Uh, Sounds like an addiction. Sorry. I is a little bit. I, a little bit. About I have stuck these in. I think I now have them in every bag or case that will go with me on a trip for a video production that has at least $500 of equipment in it. Is the idea. I mean, that's. That's fair, but yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's definitely so, addiction. So a twenty-five dollar, <laughs> so a twenty-five. Listen, I, 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 you know, you've seen my cameras, right? Like some, like especially those Canons. I, I would love to have one in each one of my camera bags, to be honest. Um, but, uh, but, but I, you know, we're we're at a wrestling show, MMA show, whatever event. I mean, how easy is it for somebody to just yoink a, a, a one of those Vixias off of my off of my table at the end of the night when we're not paying attention, packing up? That's yeah, the fear. No, I... That's the fear, big time. And then, and then also, 
when I'm 20 minutes away on the way to uh, West Virginia and realize I forgot our headsets, thankfully in my head for some reason, I can drive five minutes away, look at my phone, and see what I left back at the studio. Literally. So, so uh, it, it kind of works out. Oh no, we left this thing back here. You know, it it, it just kind of built. It, it just saves me from myself at this point. So, Alex Cars out of there in California. Where are you now? You, I we used to dub you from Long Beach. Are you still in the Long Beach area out oh, there? I'm so, yeah, okay. no, I'm still Long Beach. Okay, yeah, I, no, I knew I, you had moved, I, I, so I, I didn't. I, I moved, wasn't certain. I moved just. I moved just far enough. That my zip code, like my yeah, my zip code changed as well. Like that's that's the extent to which I really mm. moved. But I'm still in Long Beach. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Excellent. Thank you for joining us, sir. Uh, you do, Thank of you course, occupyprowrestling.com. Yep. Uh, yeah, I I do that. I'm I'm still working on revamping the website, but in the meantime, you can find Listen. all things Occupy Pro Wrestling at Power the Number Two The Smarts. Listen, uh, we are always Twitter, working on revamping one thing or another around here. So, yeah, Twitter, yes. Twitch, and uh, other socials, including TikTok, finally got on on that boat. Mm-hmm. Uh, gosh, it, it's been weird. Um, no, yeah. So we're yeah. So I'm, yeah. So that that's like my main project at the moment. Okay. Sounds great. And then, uh, Katie, did we plug you yet? I don't remember. No, I'm just, I'm yelling in, in my uh, my chat like I've had my phone for four years. <laughs> yeah, right. So <laughs> I get my use out of my technology. Oh yeah, I, I, oh we I'm do. Expensive. I'm expensive at the beginning, but I get my use out of it. Like oh, my I'm I'm running this this series three watch until the ground. I, I you know that's that's <laughs> it's that's it. But uh, anything you got going on? Uh, I don't feel like I have anything exciting happening now. Okay. I'll get exciting soon. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. It reminds me, we've got to talk about Saturday and see if you're free. Uh, but uh, anyways. <laughs> oh, busy guy. Bye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, the thing we've been doing. So, um, But uh, we will be, uh, production will be over in West Newton for Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Uh, we will be potentially streaming somewhere, um, continuing our tech test over there. Uh, as we're uh, building up some of our capacity here with some of these groups. And if you haven't checked it out, we did a pay-per-view this past weekend in Charleston, West Virginia, uh, book more tag team matches with a lot of friends down there at Pro Wrestling Conquest. That's available on IndieWrestling.live and uh, IndieWrestling.us on VOD now, actually. Um, and we will be going in, in, in another week to – what I we're going – I think we're going to like the Wilkes Bar area next weekend uh, for an MMA show with Maverick Maverick MMA. Uh, so look out for that, um, and that'll be through our, our, our new friends at Spectation Sports, actually. Uh, so go check that out. They got a fun thing going on. Maybe we'll have to get them on sooner or later uh, after a couple of these shows. Um, when they do the pay per view on the website or app or however they stream, I've only I haven't you know I don't, I don't see the other side of it. I just see what goes out. Um, you can do your betting on the match in the app right beside the video you're watching. So, which is a cool concept that they're working up over there. So, uh, go check that out if you're into MMA and, uh, want to bet on some stuff, I guess. So, so here we are encouraging gambling on the show, uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter to catch up with all the things going on and some other thoughts that I had, uh, uh, from today's, uh, Apple event. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Please subscribe to Sorgatron Media Master Feed to check out all the great shows. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.